before this episode is over, will you draw me like one of your French girls? <laughs> <laughs> It'll come out in that S drawing we all used to do <laughs> with the lines. <laughs> I'll just make a million of those. <laughs> I feel like for anybody that grew up in the 90s, especially if you were... To be clear, a, a, this is the ship movie, but we're doing Speed 2. We're not doing Titanic. <laughs> Screw Just cruise control. control. <laughs> <laughs> now we're doing like the... Isn't there like a 1940s version of this movie? We're doing the real nostalgic yeah. version. <laughs> well, I mean, you were on the ship, right? <laughs> it's true. You were a survivor. This is... I'm the actual Jack Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> Just less, less good looking. <laughs> yep. My girlfriend at the time, her name was Michelle. We went and watched this in the movie theater mm -hmm. together. We danced to My Heart Will Go On to every school dance. I was that like, year. in the theater, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that part. Down in front. <laughs> down in front. <laughs> it, it really um, swept up even 12 year old kids that were in their first like boyfriend girlfriend phase. And now it's forever locked in time. It will yeah. never go away. Like, it's uh, amazing. It will go on and on and on <laughs> and on. And, on. And, on. <laughs> and the choreographer for this movie actually made um, of like this kind of VHS tape that was playing in all the dressing rooms, all the makeup rooms throughout the entire production of the movie that was like a time traveler's guide to Titanic. That it, it showed how you speak, how you act, your elegance, all that sort of stuff for men and for women, for our kids, all that sort of stuff. And they wanted these 150 people to feel like they were truly from, what, 1912, I think is what it is, mm -hmm. and that they lived in that era. And James Cameron allegedly spoke with all 150 people, gave them real names of real Titanic passengers told them the outcomes of their life and they their whole job was to hold the truth of that in to their character every single day that this movie was filmed thank you mr cameron we've also been blessed all the stuff we've been talking about we also been blessed with it's been 84 years <laughs> literally the most popular meme of all time <laughs> Like it's, I've used that so many times in our clips. I've used it in text messages. Like anytime you're referring to something that makes you feel old, it's, it's been 84 years. <laughs> um, it's true, but it makes sense that one of the grandest movies in cinema history has the grandest meme of all memeage. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if memeage is a word. Of course, the experience of it was somewhat different. If you didn't have the double VHS, I mean, that's, I think that's the only way it was released. It was, um, yeah. You know, so when you had said maybe it was, a, I was like, was there, was there a triple VHS? But like, that was <laughs> and that's my. That's weird to think that they couldn't fit that much ribbon tape into a single VHS. They were like, right. no, we're going to sandwich it together into this dual sleeve. I don't know any other movie that was that way at that time. I think it might have been one of the first ones. The fir In my head, okay, the first VHS is the full movie. The second VHS is just at the drawing scene. Oh, wait. <laughs> I believe you were blushing, Mr. Big Artiste. Just the rib, the VHS ribbon in that like two minute segment was just burned out completely. Right. How many did you have to time it? Like, okay, I think this is when the tape ends, and then okay, switch it for when your mom comes back in, and you, yeah, yeah. Which VHS do I put in? <laughs> yeah. You unimaginable bastard. What I though really loved playing was there was a PC game for the uh, about the Titanic mm. and you were a time traveler went back to find clues to stop the wreck before the iceberg hit Interesting. and you'd be able to save the ship now mm -hmm. This used some type of technology that's very much like a deep fake or like the fake mouth moving. It looked real, but not. Mm -hmm. They did that with the characters in this game, and huh. it was terrifying. <laughs> this is the third class area. Are you lost? You have Rose and Jack on the front of the ship. And like, she's like, I'm flying, Jack, and all the sweetness of that. And there's a behind the scenes photo of just James Cameron in modern attire, wearing a giant headset with a microphone, <laughs> positioning him exactly where they need to be. <laughs> and you're just like, oh yeah, this is a movie. Like, yeah. and, and same with when they're on the, when they're, they make it to the door and they're in the water. There's, 
the intensity of those sequences when they hit the water is so crazy. But then when you see behind the scenes stuff of James Cameron in like a wetsuit with a headset sitting there telling them where to stand and then also seeing extras in the background standing up in the water because the water is only really knee deep. You're just like movie magic. Right. <laughs> it's so astonishing. Not here. Not this night. Not like this. Do you understand me? Who's the villain in your mind in this movie? Now, I'm going somewhere with this, so we know there's a clear-cut answer, but I, I want to hear your thoughts. Who's your villain? Uh, well, the first villain is obviously the iceberg. <laughs> 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 um, but if you go with people villains, uh, Cal was pretty... Pretty Billy horrendous. Zane, right? Yeah, yeah. And maybe even second place, his henchman. That dude yeah. was scary, scary as he well. Was. I... Rose is the villain. You unimaginable bastard. You couldn't just give Bill Paxton the heart of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. You really gonna throw that over? You got lady. You, yeah, I've been 84 years. You got to tell your story. Right, yeah. This is this man's life. <laughs> His job. Yeah, yeah. Give him that necklace and mm -hmm. go die. No, uh, but I mean, <laughs> like, you know. 